And I can summarize what the CNO stands for in three words, hybridizing the medical and the dental literature to predict efficacy. Everything you're going to see today is based on good science. You know, oxygenation, blood is life, that kind of thing. So I think you guys are going to see by the end of the day that we can use the lasers for similar things, okay, depending on the wavelength we're talking about, the NDAG in particular, and also the ozone. The ozone thing is going to be pretty amazing. If you don't know much about it, it kind of blows my mind how much literature is out there. He's considered one of the top 100 educators in the world from dentistry today. Number one, helps with blood flow, angiogenesis. And the growth factor that does that is vascular endothelial growth factor. Biomaterials that I test today, right now I've signed non-disclosure agreements, for example, a new bone graft is going to be launched in five years from now, and we're testing it today. You're the expert in the world on platelet-rich fibrin, and everybody wants to go more natural. We want you to write this book now. And I looked at that and I said, all right, I'll do it. This is a field that I actually think, and I think most people doing these procedures would say that every dentist should be doing them. It will not be there in 24 hours. It's just going to activate the cells to make collagen. So when you inject her cheekbones. Pressure. How much of that do you put in all of it? Yeah. That's a pure F formulation that instead of lasting two to three weeks, like standard PRF, this will last four to six months. Now I can use it as a barrier membrane, it actually lasts four months. Now we can use it in facial aesthetics and it's really more like a biological filler because it's gonna last you know, half a year. Sticky bone with two cc's of bone graft and I need four membrane. So the answer is collagen down first followed by PRF. Leukocyte and platelet rich fibrin. You can use it for non-surgical periodontal therapy because in perio pockets, I don't need a big volume <clears throat> what do I need? I need a concentration. The tubes matter more than the device. Horizontal ridge augmentation. So let's talk about PIPs. Photon-induced photoacoustic streaming. The work we want that light to do, whether it be doing a cavity prep, doing a facial aesthetics, or all these different things that we can do with laser light. And we can harness that based upon the pulse durations of the laser, based upon the hertz rates, the repetition rates, the, the millijoules that we're using and all the things that Terry's going to talk about with the NDAG and photobiomodulation, it's absolutely amazing what photons of light will do. We're doing micro neurovascular surgery on these teeth. It's really what we're doing. The shock wave is so profound. Lightwalker is a digital pulse laser. We're able to lower the energy to no more than 20 millijoules using a 50 microsecond pulse duration, which we never had before until we got into the Photona lasers. And that 50 microsecond pulse duration was the key. This is down at the apex where it's all kind of twisted and turned. You can see multiple portals of exit. You had one portal of exit, and all of a sudden you do use your laser and look at all the portals of exit you have. Look at all the stuff come off of there. And that's just a shock wave. I've already used the laser, let's say, where I've got the direct exposure, but I then I use ozone. Pips versus sweeps. And now you can go into auto sweeps, X sweeps. You can go into what's called... Um, um, USP, which is ultra short pulse, which is 25 microseconds pulse duration. Most people don't know it's buried in their, in their, in their laser. I use ozone water when I'm, for all my endo. I use ozone water when I'm doing pips around in any perio area. I ozonated water wherever I can. Things have to happen in certain time frames, okay, for collagen formation. If you're going to treat tissue, then you need to fully understand an injury cascade. What's so cool now? is we have platelet-rich fibrin. We can jump the fence. We have photobiomodulation, where we can jump the fence of inflammation. Look at the 21 days. That's when it starts to level off. Collagen type one and three. We want to break down collagen type two and make the new collagen youthful collagen. It's only 0.5 watts, and when you fire it at them, they don't even feel it. But it is absorbed by that mitochondria. And I'm going to teach you how to use your Genova in combination R30. Today, you'll be an expert when you walk out the door. A filler in those lips or doing hot PRF in those lips is a great idea, but for somebody with extremely thin lips and no collagen, it is a bad idea, but a wonderful idea if you've done a lip lace on them. Until I can get at least this portion of it right in here to 39 degrees centigrade. Y'all all know why, 39, that creates the new collagen formation. Infinitely better results now that I do the vectored facelifting first, at least twice, and then the threads. It is oxygen, it is ozone. We can go in and do photobiomodulation. It'll be wonderful. But also, if we deliver an antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory into the system 
right lateral to a tooth, we can get the area to calm down utilizing just ozone. If you use ozone that is created from medical grade oxygen, it's a completely different animal. Look at ozone. Every last one of those bugs, it ends up killing. Ozone is, is a synergy for what's going on here. And that's, Nick, I, I applaud you for bringing this group together. I really do. Because I'll tell you, I can't wait to start doing PRF, and I will use my laser way more than I've been using it. The result of looking at joints was the development of something we call joint vibration analysis, or JVA. But every, everyone in this room either has a particular cycle pattern. When you chew, your teeth are not supposed to, you're not supposed to be chewing your teeth. Autonomic sympathetic. The autonomics are extremely relevant for what we do in everyday practice. Why, when you prep a tooth in a simple sense, does a tooth potentially necrose? why what Rick Myron's doing, what we're doing with lasers and ozone, why that could make a huge difference for all of us. I don't care what we're doing in dental, in dental world, or medical world for that matter.